Tuesday for Wednesday is the plant we took this off, Gonora manicata. And the reason that this big leaf over my head is it's been raining very, very heavily today in Pagora Nurseries and it makes an ideal umbrella. So anyway, what I want to show you today is how to look after all your bedding flowers that have been damaged in the rain of the last while and how to rejuvenate them again to give yourself colour for the rest of the summer. So it's important to, at this stage now, salvage your plants and take off all the old dead flower heads on the plant. A plant's purpose in life is to make flowers, set seed and it's quite happy. But if we keep taking off the old dead heads off the plants, giving them a feed, they will recover and give you lots of colour for the rest of the summer. So get out now to all your pots and containers, remove the old dead heads and you will have beautiful colour for the summer. So this is verbena and verbena we're just giving it a nice little clean over any of the flowers that have faded and look bad take them away and encourage the plant to throw up more flower buds like you see here on the plant so all of those old dead heads we're removing a little bit of time at it and then give them a feed of we like algae bloom algae bloom is a wonderful plant food to encourage the plant to throw up more flowers again. It's a high potash feed, so it's ideal for making more flowers. Have a look at our petunias as well. You can see how the rain has left them a bit sodgy and mucky. Take away good length of stem with the plant and it will make more for you. So if they're at all damaged or faded, remove them like so, with a length of stem you can use your nails, or if your nails aren't as developed as mine, use the scissors or secateurs. And that will encourage them to throw up more for the, for the rest of the summer. Same with begonias. You can see the begonia here has been, look at that, starting to get messy on the back and around the flower. And all you do is, right down here with a good length of stem, remove the, the old dead flower off the begonia, and there's lots more forming. I keep doing that to encourage the plant to throw up more flowers for the for the summer. Now we go and have a look at our big gunnera plant and see what he can look like and where we get our umbrellas from. So let's go and have a have a look. It's drizzling rain here. We've had a very wet day in the nursery today, but the gunnera is loving it. Look at the um, look at the size of that one. Massive. You can see where we get our umbrella leaves from now. It's Gunnera manicata likes a moist deep soil and if you provide a nice place for it, nice deep rich soil, it will grow as big as this one.